Hey everybody, welcome back. Everybody seemed to like that drawing video that I put on the other day, so uh, I figured I'd do another one. This time we'll try to transfer it to the wood and we'll use the techniques that we apply on paper and try and get the same type of effect on, how about we do a walking stick? Or at least I can use a piece of scrap wood and show you, if I don't have a walking stick here, how to carve it on a walking stick. Okay, I'll just find a piece of wood outside and we'll stick a face on here okay so let's come up with a design and uh pretty much show you how i would do it and hopefully you can get what you get out of it okay all right i'm gonna go to the paper and i'm gonna think walking stick anyway i'm gonna make me a nice little face i'm gonna draw a line just like that and we'll give him eyebrows and stuff right away so we get the idea of what He's going to look like. I'm going to give him a face that kind of goes like this. Okay, two eyebrows. I'm going to come up here where it's thin in the saddle of his nose. And then it's going to widen as it goes down. Just like that. And we don't want to give him too small of a nose because we want him to have some character. Right underneath that, I'm going to make him have eyes. A little bit lower like that. Just gonna draw a line for that upper lid like that and come down. All right. And we'll try to make them look interesting by putting those eyes, like I said in the last video, a little to the side, those pupils, not looking straight ahead. You don't want them to have that thousand mile stare that <laughs> just makes them look like a zombie. Okay, we'll actually give these lids a little bit of hook to them too. And, of course, we'll give him some eye detail and wrinkles. All right, now, as far as the mustache goes, this one I'm going to put a mustache on. I'm going to come over here to the wing of his nose, and we'll try to give him, since he's going to be on a stick, a nice long mustache here. I'll we'll just kind of let that flow into the wood. We'll do something like this, I guess. Okay, we'll give him a mouth. And now, do we want hair? Do we? Maybe we'll give him a real high forehead. We'll come up to here. And right from there, we'll just kind of suck those cheeks right in. Keep it pretty thin up top here. And we'll do something like that. All right. Now you got to remember, this is a piece of cottonwood, or a walking stick, I mean, okay, so we're just going to say this would be the stick, whatever kind of stick we're going to have, all right, I'm going to bring this down, I'm trying to keep my hand from doing this so you can't see, so I got the pencil way out here, so it's, if my drawing's not that great, <laughs> that's why, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm drawing, all right, and right here we got a basic face, I'm going to dig his face in here, and we'll give him some wrinkles here, Maybe a couple that go this way to make them look a little more expressive. And on the bottom here, right under the lip, that's where we'll run the hair. We'll kind of make that come out. And... This will be our stick here. Okay. So we'll give him lines like that. For beard hair. Now over here on the sides, if we do want to put some hair, we can always put some up here. All right. Uh, what I usually do if I want to give him hair is I would cut a V with my knife or whatever tool you're going to use and part the hair there. All right, and that's where, you know, the hair would start. Going off to the side. And that's where it would separate and change direction here. Okay. 
and we could wrap that right off to the side. And a lot of times when I'm over here, I would actually go right around the stick and take chunks of the stick out. So, you know, I actually have a little more of a real hair look to it. These would come down and kind of do something like that. Kind of hard to see it on paper, but I know what I want in my head, which is the whole idea, right? So this right here would be a basic walking stick design. Like I said, a couple of lines for effect. And that's the type of face we're going to try and do on the walking stick. It's going to be a little bit different with slanted eyebrows facing down. And I could pretty much have a design now I could put on. He's not super fancy, but it's going to depend on how many tool marks we put in him to make him really pop. And the great thing about wood spirits is usually the more hair you add, the cooler they look. So that's what we're going to try to achieve with our carving tools is to bring him out with a lot of shadows and we might even sink the cheeks in here a little more you know with our tools and we'll see what we can come up with as far as that goes and this right here of course is whatever stick I choose so that's going to be my design give me something to kind of look at and reference when I'm carving the stick and uh, we'll see what happens see if we can come up with this and to get them to look kind of like what we have here okay so that's going to be our project let me find a stick and we'll see if we can do this in real life and not just on paper Let's immortalize them, guys. There we go. Now, basically, what I would do is I would put this picture next to the other picture, or next to the stick that I'm going to carve, I mean, and I would just copy the face on. Now, if you don't draw, uh, I'm just kind of I'm not even trying to duplicate this perfectly, but if you would want to do the exact design, you could get carbon paper, trace it on here, okay? Or you could get a projector, take a photo of this. A lot of the new projectors out are really cool. They're USB. Take a picture of that, put it in your computer, put it on a flash drive, put it in the projector, project it right onto the stick, and then trace it, okay? So that's how you can transfer your design. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. Me, I just kind of draw them on, and uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm just just did it ahead of time to keep the video shorter for you guys because I'm sure you'd rather see the carving more. All right, so then what I would do is I would probably get a small bit first to make sure I could trace all this out. So I'm going to be using just a tiny little ball bit. It's a Dremel bit, okay? I'm not going to be using a flame burr or anything like that yet. I want to get these fine details if I want to do something really fine like this because I made the eyes really small here if you notice on the stick so I'm going to need something small and I'm going to have to go around there and see if I can get the design etched in first and then we'll try to carve it out a little deeper and make them look the way we want okay here we go I'll see if I can keep this in the camera for you so don't mind me if my arm gets in the way I'm trying to I got the camera right in my right by my right ear here <laughs> and Still have to try and keep my hand out of the way so you can see when I etch. So let's give it a shot here. Can you see that okay? Now when I cut away these designs, I cut away the lines. Don't worry, that's what we have our drawing for. We can always go back to our drawing look and re-sketch them on. Okay, so I'm just going to go around, I'm going to etch it in, and then I'll show you what we can do after that.
I have to turn the stick so I can get at it. Usually I would hold it in my hand. Yeah, much easier to hold the stick and do this. I'm trying to stay out of the camera and the, I usually don't uh, have a stick and a vice when I'm doing a walking stick. So here we go. Okay, so now I have the design etched on, and that's pretty much what I want, so I don't lose my design. And now I can go around and I can start adding the depths and everything that I need. I'll hit it with a little sandpaper, take those fuzzies off. <sighs> now I know he doesn't look, uh, he's etched, not carved, etched, because we really want this walking stick to come out and look cool. We're going to have to get that carved down, and we're going to have to have all the different depths, okay? In other words, his forehead and his face have to be lower than the nose, right? That should be the highest point. So all this got to come down and the eyes go inside that. And then the eyebrows are higher than the eyes and the eyelids, of course. So we have to change to different tools now, now that we have a design etched on and we'll try to keep our design. At least we know where we're going with it. And we'll try to carve them out a little bit more and switch tools now. I'm hoping all that stayed in the video when uh, we were doing that. I got me a little bit more light here. Let's see, I'll try to keep the shadows off of the carving. All right, and I got me a little bit bigger ball now. Okay, you see that? Now I'm going to try and get the mustache down some. much deeper now so when we go around with this and take down what we can it's going to start forming the detail a lot better and depth okay sides here if I want that nose to stand out I definitely got to take down the cheeks over here lower than the nose same with the mustache that's going to have to come down when it goes under the nose because I want this nose to protrude protrude so this all gets tucked up under it as I keep carving deeper into the nose we want that mustache to stand out but we want the nose to stand out above the mustache <laughs> okay so it's all about getting your depths right blending the forehead up and under that line right and then coming over on the sides and getting that mustache to really stand out and then blending that this way towards the mustache once I cut deeper over here so the mustache stands out on the outside then we got to do the same one a little at a time the outline we're pushing the face back and to the sides going into our stop cut here okay on the sides so I'm going to keep doing that and go around. You guys know the drill. And I'm going to work on this and I'll show you the progress as I go. Otherwise, this video is going to take forever because I'm going really slow. I can't really turn the stick because I have the camera in my way and I'm really going to have to take it down some. And I wanted to show you the process. And then once I get so far, then we, maybe we'll mix a couple of hand tools with it and show you how to really clean them up and make them look real, real good. Okay? I'll be back. Okay, so I went around with that ball, right? And I got some detail in a little bit deeper. I got under the mustache a little more, cleaned up the face and took it down more, right? Got the nose to stand out more. Uh, the eyes right now, if we take our drawing and we put this up against it, okay? You see how the eye is different here? This eye right here, just from the tool, is starting to droop down. I want this 
a lot more uh, shallower from this line here, right going down. So what I'm going to do is I want that to kind of sweep down. I want his eyes a little more slanted. So that's going to be coming down like that, right? If I want to have pretty much the same type of look, all right? It's, it's not going to be exact, but I am going to want this to be adjusted here. And then, of course, above this line, this right here is this eyelid. I'm going to be going up here and making big eyebrows. Okay, above the ones that are there. But these are going to be lids, actually. Right, and then we'll try to carve that out. Okay. I really like to give everybody a nugget with each video, at least one that you can take back and it'll improve your carving. And this right here is going to be the main nugget, uh, hopefully in this video. There'll be more than one, but... You know them little tight spots when you're trying to get into certain carvings and your knife just can't get in or you just can't find the bit, all right, that'll do the job. Well, right here is a little secret that uh, I haven't seen many carvers even make a video on this, but uh, I discovered these years ago, and these are micro bits. They're like little mini drill bits that you can use in a CNC machine, right? They're very precision. They're very easy to break. All right, but they do fit in the Fordham or the Dremel. They got one eighth inch shank. I'll put a link in the description for you guys if you want to try them out. But in these little tight spots here, when you want to get up and underneath an eyebrow, all right, you see how the, this one I already kind of went into. And you put this baby up under there and you could just go right up and down and get, look at that stuff. All right, I already went up and under that one. So we're going to do this eye. We're just going to try and get that up and underneath and once your eyes are carved you can get in the corners and everything with this thing but you got to be real easy and slow or it's going to snap okay and uh i'll show you on a piece and uh when i clean up carvings i'll use these and try and get in the eyes i haven't done it in a while i just got a new pack of these so perfect chance for me to use them again all right so let me just show you a little bit about how they work but you got to go slower you will snap your bit off See how it gets in that corner though? And I can run right underneath the eyelid. And get that out to get that shadow that really makes your eyes pop. And you can also dig the corners out with these too. Look at that. You see that? See that shadow that created All right and there's a little tip for you take it serious it'll improve your carvings a hundred percent when you're doing detail work so i hope this helps i'm going to go around leave the video run for a while i'm going to try and shape some of these eyes a little bit and then i'll take my knife and round off the eyeballs and all the good stuff that uh you know we've been covering okay here we go See how you can get in that? Look at the shadow under there now. Then when I start making my eyes and everything, and I can't get up in there with the tool, I grab one of these puppies. Put that one under your hat, guys. It's worth a million. Okay, let me show you how it digs out the nose if I can do it without breaking it. <laughs> yes, I've busted many. Oh, and there we go. See how easy they break off? 
This one's a little long. I like the thicker ones. I'm using a very thin one right now. So let's try that again. Maybe I'll try this side instead. Yeah, I can start getting shadow around the nose here. Now this bit broke, but it still has a little bit on it. Just gotta, I'm at the wrong angle to do it with the camera in my way, so I broke it. And we can clean that up with our knife and other tools. Now, that's probably the best tip that I can give you as far as getting in with something small. Then when I take my gouge or whatever and come around with or other bits, I can clean the nose up, shape it in. But I'll have that shadow now. And I'll dig the mustache, the mouth out, everything with these little precision bits. And that really makes a difference in keeping your detail, if you, especially if you have a good design. Okay? Okay, I'm going to get to working on this and see uh, how much I can do with this little bit. You see the undercuts you can get with this little bit? I love it. Okay. Let's see what I'm going to go around and go around his head and everything with this bit. And uh, I'll show you the results when it's done. And once I get to that point and I have the eyes to shape that I want and everything, what I'll do is I'll go in with my knife and I'll start rounding them off. You know, and I'll get those eyeballs inside uh, pushed down into the eyelids. cleaned up any spots that need to be cleaned up I'll clean up and I'll make sure they're nice uh, as far as under here but a lot of times too if you're having trouble with your knife take a tool that's kind of shaped like the eyeball like this right or where you can get around the nose right see right here it's a little boogered up there from the drill and then take them pieces out actually go right underneath and Pop those out. All right, and then you'll have that nice shadow around the nose. And then, of course, we'd scrape that down into there. All right, same with on this side. So, once you make that cut, make sure you go in and you use some hand tools. <laughs> and that's all I do is go around and I clean them up with my hand tools wherever I need to. Uh, Right here, I went above that eyebrow there. I would take that down so it stands out and take that off until I had those eyelids on top all blended in and just the eyelid was standing up, okay? So you go around with your knife and you clean up or the hand tools. You clean up your piece and get those lines all to go where they're supposed to go. Like under here, try and get the top of the head to go under that hairline. And then you can always go back with that little drill again and dig up even more, all right? But the whole idea is to get this thing dug in pretty good so when people look at them, you're gonna see every piece of detail. You're gonna see the shadow in the forehead, you're gonna see the cheeks, you're gonna see the face dug in and going under the hair, okay? And if you uh, use your hand tools after using 
the power, right? It's really going to give you that effect. So I'm going to go around and clean this stuff up. I'll take a couple of little hand tools or my knife or whatever I need. I wonder if I can do this left-handed here. And, uh, maybe not. And I'll clean it up, you know. Now, as far as the eyeballs go, I would use the... Do I have my V-tools? It's my little gouge over here. Hold on one sec. I would use a gouge to do those eyes. Now, I could use the drill bit too. But I'd use a gouge and a small V-tool to do my lines under here. Like this, uh... And here's a small veiner. <clears throat> if I wanted to do... Uh... Excuse me. If I wanted to do some bags under the eyes, I might take it out with the veiner and raise that a little bit first and then run a V-tool through. Okay. But whatever I have to use to clean it up, I would clean up. And I would make some ridges like that, then I'd take my V-tool and run through. Underneath here, I'm, uh, I'm going to push the nose back and under this eyelid and this eyelid and the eyebrows. Okay. So I'm going to want to get that nose to go because this believe it or not this right here i would take down more all right all the way up i'd you got to get that bridge at the top to sink in he's a little too high so i'd separate here and then this part of the nose the saddle of the nose gets tucked up underneath it's gonna be hard to hold this and can you guys see that and you want those to go underneath, or that to go underneath your eyelids and your eyebrow. Okay, that part should angle back. So then, when you look at it from the side, the nose will will actually have that slope to it, and it's not just straight down, right? And then I'd clean up up here again with my gouge or my knife. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to put a little heavier detail in. One more tip I can give you. i got to find my gouger. I just pop eyeballs in them real quick for you. But I don't know uh, where it is. Hold on one sec. All right. Let's see here. I'll get them so you can see them in the light. And I'd take a small gouge. All right. With a small enough sweep that's going to be perfect for the eyeball that I'm looking at. I'm going to try and put it a little to the side and down really low on that eyeball. So probably about here. I'm going to push it in, turn it, and get one. This one right here, I'm going to keep the eyes both going that way. All right. So it's going to go on top a little bit more. I'm going to push that one in and turn it. I got the camera right next to my hand. I got to go straight in here. I'm trying to get him to go up and under. <coughs> Excuse me. Up and under that eyelid, right? And then I cut that chip out with the tip of my knife. And if it's not deep enough, because my arm's right here by the camera, I'll have to do it again. This one right here. I got to rework a little bit. I got to get the drill and get up under that eyelid a little bit more. I need a little more meat in the eye because I broke a piece out here. Hold on, let me turn it towards me so I can see. Wrong chisel here. I need the gouge. I need a little bit more pressure to push that in so I can get that circle with that iris there. There we go. Now let's see if I can pop that chip out and if not that's what that little drill is for yeah the guy's breaking there this is all from me having to do it from a little bit of an angle but I can get that to work okay for tutorial purposes so I'll dig that corner out a little bit more and keep make sure I keep that rounded shape of the eyeball I lost some of the eyeball on the first push so that eyes a little funky right so I'll clean them up with the drill but these are the basic techniques 
if you want to improve your wood spirit, uh, and you can dig him in. I could dig him in real deep here, so there's a lot of heavy shadow on the sides here. And then I'd start fanning the hair down. And I would take a chisel. Does this zoom out at all? No, I guess not. Maybe I, maybe I can lift the camera. But I would take a chisel and actually make everything deeper, the beard hair, and I'd start going all the way around the sides of it. All right. And really get the detail to come out in the beard and in the mustache. And definitely I'm going to dig this out up here. All right. And then I'm going to put some shadow there so the hair sticks out too. And then it's just a matter of doing the hair and some wrinkles and stuff. Now I'm going to make his eye bags bigger. I'm going to get my V-tool, maybe some small gouges and veiners. And I'm going to give him some bags, give him some wrinkles and try to do the finishing touches on him and get some more shadow and I'll come back and show you the finished result. Okay, so I'm hoping that this is explaining most of what I'm doing. And if not, we can go even into more detail on it. But this will give you a little better way to do a wood spirit, hopefully. And working off a pitcher, we kind of have almost the same result. All right, I gotta turn it, bring it over here for a minute because I can't see it. So we got the same type of face, same type of mustache, all right? And that's uh, all because we made a drawing first and we're trying to at least have a pretty decent face and not just flying by the seat of our pants. Okay, I'll be back with the finished result and explain what I did. All right, well, I went around, I cleaned them up a little bit. Uh, I probably want to get a little bit more depth on him uh, around his hairline on the top and I'll dig him out and I think I'm going to do a lot more with the beard. But uh, I think this should be sufficient for the video though. So hopefully you guys learned something. If you have any questions, definitely put them in the comments. And that's pretty much, I guess, a little different way that you can do a walking stick. We're going to do another walking stick, but we're going to do it all with hand tools because somebody had asked me about that. So until then, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye now.